Hi guys, this is Vitorials and today I am going to tell you about a new April update of Adobe XD for Windows. It's a quite important, it brings a new feature that allows us to create more and do it better. If you are already a user of Adobe XD, you maybe know that MacOS version of this software is more advanced uh, than Windows 1 and has more features. And Adobe team decided to correct this inequality. That is what they say. Seems to me Adobe team treat Windows users very seriously. And this is a very good news for all of us. So let's get started our tutorial. So I'm going to create a couple of icons. Like here in uh, Adobe XD. To show you all this boolean shape operation in walk. So let's create a new artboard. I choose iPad Pro and then let's start with the rectangle, create a rectangle like that and I'm going to set the field to none and the border to blue and increase border weight and then I'm going to round the corners to the max like so and make a copy with the Alt and shift key and I am going to rotate this guy uh, to the left holding shift key on 45 degrees and this guy to the right holding shift key on 45 degrees and I am going to place this right like that and now I am going to select them both and create a couple of copies 3 is enough, we have 4 operations, so we need 4 shapes. First of all, I am going to show you how the art works. Click on this icon to achieve a result. So, we, we simply combine 2 shapes. And if you select this uh, shape, this combine and this result, you may be notified that this icon is highlighted. You can click again to undo this operation. And click again, very convenient way to do that in Adobe XD. The next operation is Subtract. To show you more clearly how it works, I'm going to change the border color of this front shape and uh, select both of them and click on the Subtract icon. This Subtract uh, front shape from the bottom shape and uh, the main difference between Illustrator Pathfinder and these uh, boolean operators in uh, Adobe XD, this the final result is the same color as the bottom shape. In Adobe Illustrator, you will achieve the final result with the color of the front shape. Uh, we can use this uh, to make a param icon. Like so. So, the third operation is operation intersect. It saves only area where the very one shape intersects another shape. In our case it gives us this drop icon. Fourth operation is uh, do quite opposite. It saves only area that doesn't intersect. So this exclude this intersection from the final result. To show you more clearly, I'm going to to fill to red, and and this will produce this very uh, familiar shape. And we can combine uh, these operators one with an, uh, one with another. So let me show you how to combine these uh, operators. First of all, I am going to create a circle, set it to the blue border, increase the border weight, and make a copy holding Alt and Shift key. Then I am going to select both of them and make intersection to create this lens shape. Then I'm going to rotate holding shift key to rotate it on 80 degrees. 
Then I'm going to place a pupil. This is circle. And I'm going to set the border of the circle to the uh, none and fill color to the red. And uh, select both of them and make exclude overlap operation. And as you can see, the final result, the final color of this operation is uh, depends from the color of the back shape. It uh, works quite different from the Adobe Illustrator. And the last but not least, what I'm going to show you that you can change your result. Let's create two rectangles with the different colors and make, for example, exclude overlap command. And then you can double click and uh, change your exclusion group. You can do the same uh, operations with uh, another commands. So you can place it like, like that or even like that or even like that. So you can double click, change your final result and then leave this uh, overlapping shape. But what I'm going to show you next is quite unexpected behavior. You remember that we do this with the red and the blue squares, but when I click exclude overlap to undo, we receive two blue squares that our Red square was uh, recolored to the blue. You can like it or not, but it's the way how Adobe XD treats this operation. And the last feature that was brought with April updates on Windows is the ability to create a mask. Uh, this is a very simple and convenient way. I think it's Illustrator way, so uh, I'm going to place an image here on the new artboard. And then I'm going to grab my circle, holding Alt and Shift key, create a circle, and select both of them. Right mouse button click to open the context menu, and here I am going to use mask with shapes command shift ctrl m i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you do please thumb up subscribe uh, share it with your friends i will come back to you very soon